Coming up in our news weekend, the Christian Council president says all hands on deck needed for the fight against crime. A busy night for police as a shooting leaves a man in hospital. The Chamber of Commerce CEO says government must give an update on WTO talks. Plus, who gave us our quote of the week? Welcome to Our News, the Weekend Edition, and thanks for joining us. I'm Kyle Joaquin. Just one week after 14 people were shot outside a birthday party in Montel Heights, the Christian Council President is calling for all churches, civic as well as youth organizations in the country to work together in the fight against gun violence. He said at this point it will take more than just the church. Jillian Gray reports. With the murder count up to 46 for the year, Christian Council President Delton Fernander said fighting gun violence will take a community effort. It might um, be frustrating at times, but we must give our, our paramilitary, which is a combination of all forces, time to bring this under hand because the, the, once you are shipping port, you're going to have weapons being passed through because you can't, serve, can't search all of the containers. But we must do our best to take it off our streets. And one of the ways to do that is to catch it while they're in the vehicles. Just last week, 14 people, including minors, were shot outside a birthday party in Montel Heights. Fernandez said the Christian Council went to visit with those families to offer its prayers and counseling. He added that while the commissioner has put a plan in place, residents must work with police if change is to take place. As we prepare to walk in Montelites, we see the impact on a 10-year-old receiving two shots, a 16-year-old receiving a shot, and then all of the adults that were, some 14 to 15 of them that were shot. That we speak to the caliber of weapons that are being used in this instance and the Plantall Street incident, and uh, we know that the Commissioner of Police will be putting together a task force, and he's already announced that they're going to, but we as a public are saying we're going to give way for that. Fernander then encouraged residents to get involved with their community citizen watch. We need to be vigilant, we need to use the tools that we have, and we must engage. Get involved with your citizen watch, get involved with some of the programs that we're working with the Crime Commission to put forth in the days to come, and we're going to do some things behind closed doors that prepare for for us to do it in public, we're going to do some testing. And once we've tested, please, we must get the army of the willing engaged because if we sit back and do nothing, that is not an option. Uh, we'll destroy our society. Reporting for our News Weekend, I'm Jillian Gray. Police investigating an overnight shooting that has left a man in hospital. According to reports just after 10 last night, a man was walking along Gibbs Corner just off E Street when he was approached by a man who shot him before running away. Paramedics transported the victim to hospital where he is said to be in stable condition. Police also, police also looking into two separate armed robbery incidents that occurred an hour apart. In the first, two men sitting in front of a home around 10 last night were robbed of cash by two gunmen who approached them before fleeing on foot. And in the second incident, a man standing outside his Bacardi Road home just after 11 p.m. was robbed by two men who took his cash and other items. The gunman then got away in the man's white Chevy Silverado truck. If you have any information that could assist police, you're asked to contact them at 911-919 or Crime Stoppers at 328 TIPS. Well, as police begin those investigations, the opposition leader is calling for a refocus of the Royal Bahamas Police Force. Philip Davis says if there is to be any change, it must start from the head. Georgia Bay has According that. to the leader of the opposition, the Royal Bahamas Police Force has seemed to lost focus during the last two years, only focusing on detection rather than the prevention of the census loss of life in the country. Following the weekend's mass shooting that saw over a dozen people shot, Commissioner of Police Anthony Ferguson sought to calm the fears of Bahamians by stating that communities here in the Bahamas are still safe. When asked if he felt the same way, the opposition leader, Philip Brave Davis, said this. I don't believe that the communities are safe. I believe that the fear of crime is at an alarming rate. We all fear crime. What I would do, I, I would send an appeal to my brothers and sisters who are holding these grudges and having these conflicts to just pause and consider what their acts of violence is doing, not only to themselves, but to our country. 
Davis slammed the force's latest shot spotter technology and called on the force to focus more on the prevention of these senseless crimes. When you look at what the, the direction of the force has been going over the last two years, you would find, as I mentioned, that they are more, they are more concerned about detection. So they made that huge investment in what the shot spotter, right? The shot spotter. That is that is what they. That is where they're investing their money. That's detection. We need to have more investment in prevention. Davis also hit out on the notion that criminals are killing criminals, as he said that innocent lives are now being caught up in the crossfire. We have to also concern ourselves. The fact that persons who are involved in this violent, these violent acts are known to the police. And so the police say, well, that's okay because they are known, they, they, are, they are wiping out one another. That is not the response that we need to do, that we need in this day and age. Reporting for our News Weekend Edition, I'm Georgie O'Bain. All right, thanks, Georgie. Still to come, the Chamber of Commerce CEO weighs in on WTO talks. Plus, the DPM explains what's in the works with government contracts. Stay tuned.